All right, so it's 10.08, the night of April 1st. It's a Wednesday, it's 2020. You guys know what year it is. And if you're watching this video this year, then you know what's going on. And normally there are so many other things that I could and should be doing at 10 o'clock on a Wednesday night. But I felt very moved to make this video. This video, uh, I mean, you clicked on it, judging by the title, it's probably something like, um, you just gotta do the thing or figuring it out or something along those lines because that's the idea that I had when I decided to turn on the camera and talk. But I think the words figuring it out are really thumping in my head right now. So let me back up. Earlier today, I found out that because of the situation, I don't want to speak the evil name, but because of the situation, um, I was on my public library's website and found out that I could take Udemy classes and lynda.com classes for free. Um, one hour down that rabbit hole later, I have signed up and started taking a social media marketing class. On top of that, I had YouTube playing in the background and I was listening to Charlie Marie, shout out Charlie Marie. She's an awesome YouTuber. Um, lots of graphic design stuff. Uh, I'll let you look it up, links down below. But I was watching one of her videos and that led me to her dribble, which led me down another rabbit hole of something called I'm a blogger. And figuring it out comes from, that, that idea kind of popped in my head because I'm, um, looking at these people who are bloggers and yes they're focused in a niche but also people like them like they like they like their personality and then on the other hand i'm listening to this social media marketing class and it's basically like saying kind of the same thing where it's like you need to be a niche until people fall in love with you and I've mentioned this before on this channel and in my blog and in life, if you've ever talked to me, I am a lot of things. Um, I like and enjoy a lot of things and it's hard for me to niche down into one thing for an extended period of time because I'm interested in a lot of things. <clears throat> I think that leads me to the idea of, I just need to figure it out. I need to figure out one specific thing that I can go really hard in for really long, and then figure out a way to incorporate all of the other things that I do into that so that my personality can bleed through. <laughs> I just really felt like being honest and transparent, not not only with you guys, but with myself. Um, I need to figure it out. And I'm really leaning towards, hello kitty. I'm really leaning towards photography because I've spent a lot of time in that. I've made money from it. Um, that's the primary, uh, what do you call it? Like thing in my business category where I'm listed in business stuff is photography and it's a it's a giant part of who I am and what I do so I really think oh you want to say hello Ugh. this is Hamto um, photography is a really big part of who I am and what I do and I really think that I need to take a break from everything else and really focus on photography and growing that, uh, or at least growing that side of my brand to a place where I can start incorporating everything else. And then we'll go from there. So 
I think talking through this with with you guys and with myself and with you, Hamto, has brought me to a place where I think I think I know what I need to do. Um, I'm still not entirely sure on how we're gonna get there, but I think this is this is what I needed at 10 o'clock on a Wednesday night. <laughs> Cat in my lap knocked the recorder out. But yeah, I think this is what I needed at 10 o'clock on a Wednesday night during this time this year. So. If you watch this video, thank you for listening to me ramble to myself. And I hope that me sitting here talking through it, figuring it out, will help you talk through it with me or somebody or anybody or even yourself to figure out what you need to do to not only make it through this time, but like make it in life. Like people should have dreams and goals and do stuff. If if be if surviving this has taught me anything is that you need to if you have an idea, you need to go do it while you can, because there might come a time where you can't. So. All right, guys, I think I've rambled on long enough. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit the bell so you get notifications, subscribe if you like it, all that other stuff and leave a comment. If you like more ham toe. All right, guys. See you. Talk to you later. Believe that. Thumbnail. <laughs>